Your space bus is now approaching. The next drop is the Interspace Institute. Stand clear of the closing airlock, please. Good morning, kid. You see my space bus's new nose cone? Yup, it's a genuine nosy Nancy nose cone. Is that what that thing is? I thought you might have run into some space junk. Yes, Albie. I'll have you know, it makes the space bus space pirate proof. No big deal. Really? It looks like it's made of cardboard. Oh, well, enough about my nose cone. Are you ready for a newsworthy day? Media literacy educator Michelle Chula Lipkin is on the space bus this morning. Well, go on, grab a seat so we can get the fuel burning and our brains learning. So, media literacy. What's that, Michelle? Is that where you know exactly what kind of meme to post in order to get the maximum likes? That's kind of part of it. There's lots of different kinds of media. TV shows, news articles, social media selfies, memes, books, even video games. If you can read it or watch it, it's media. Media literacy is all about knowing how to access, analyze, evaluate, create, and act when it comes to media. And it all starts with asking questions. Oh, I've got a question. Yeah, Leika? Would you help us with this riddle here? It's about media literacy. Sure, what you got? In order to be a media literacy sleuth, this kind of thinking gets you closer to the truth. Hmm. What kind of thinking do you need to be a media literacy sleuth? A sleuth? Like a detective? Yeah. Being media literate is kind of like being a detective, figuring out clues to solve a mystery. Oh, I want to solve a mystery? What what do we have to do? You got to know what a clue looks like, and you've got to ask the right questions to get the answers you need. Questions like... Why did Gordy put a refrigerator box on the front of the space bus? That is a nosy Nancy nose cone. And I'll have you know, it came highly recommended from a friend. It wards off space pirates. Is that for real? Yeah! I'll send the article to you so you can see for yourselves. The headline says, Seven ways to space pirate proof your ship like a pro. Ah, our first mystery is media literacy detectives. The case of the new nose cone. Yeah, this article is definitely media. Think you've got what it takes to investigate and ask the right questions? Hmm. All right, article. What's the big idea? Why does Gordy think this nose cone's so great, huh? What's in it for you, see? Those are all great questions, Albie. But unfortunately, the article can't talk back to you. Oh, yeah. So how are we supposed to get answers to our questions? The short answer? Research. First, check out the article itself. Who is the author? Where is it posted? When was it written? What are the facts? Oh, I found the part where they talk about the nose cones. It says, 0% of spaceships with nosy Nancy nose cones have been plundered by space pirates in the past 10 years. See? Those are straight up facts right there. Whenever I read an article, I try to do some lateral reading. That's when I open up a new tab and search around the internet to see if other news sources have similar information. Did you do any other research, Gordy? Uh, why should I? Uh, Facts are facts. Well, I was just searching on my phone and I found a few articles that say that in the past 10 years, there have been zero space pirates spotted, let alone plundering any ships. Yeah, if people with and without nosy Nancy nose cones aren't getting plundered, then maybe the nose cone doesn't actually help. But why would they say that in the article if it wasn't helpful? That's a great question, and one we ask a lot in media literacy. Why did they say it like this? Who is the media for? What are they trying to have you think? The article is for people who want to protect their ships from space pirates. And the name of the site is the Nosy News Network. Yeah, they're great. They're owned by the Nosy Nancy Nose Conglomerate. They're the same people who make the nose cones? Yeah. What's your point? So the people recommending the nose cones are the same ones that make money if you buy it? So the why of the article is to sell nose cones. They want you to think nose cones stop space pirates from getting you. Even though space pirates aren't getting anyone. You know, 
he did feel like the nose cone was a little flimsy. I expected it to at least come with an anti-space pirate reverse tractor beam ray or something. I really wanted it to work. I hear you, Gordy. It's easy to believe things that you agree with online, especially if someone you know shares it. Oh, wow. So because that person shared the article, you bought this nose cone? Huh. I guess so. And now I think I might return it. Wow, so Gordy, if you had used media literacy sleuthing skills, you might not have bought this thing at all. Prepare for capsule drop. It's tough to say why people do things like buy nose cones, but no matter if you are watching a show or reading an article about space pirates, it's important to do some critical thinking. Critical thinking? Yep. Critical thinking is when you analyze something by asking questions and doing research to see if what it's saying is accurate. So to see if it's true or false. It's more than just true or false, Albie. There's a lot of gray area. It's true that ships with this nose cone won't get plundered by space pirates. But if the article was being really clear, it would say no ships are getting plundered at all. Oh, wait! In order to be a media literacy sleuth, Thinking this way gets you closer to the truth. Critical thinking gets you closer to the truth. Yep. Remember to always ask questions. Be skeptical and ask, why did they do it that way? As often as you can. C-R-I-T-I-C-A-L. It fits. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah, thanks. I'll ask some questions next time I'm scrolling through my newsfeed or listening to a podcast. Awesome. Yeah, question podcasts, too. Capsule drop sequence initiated. Eliminate distractions. Distractions deleted. Activate educational apparatus. Apparatus online. Consult your day schedule. Extracting coordinates from schedule. Launch trajectory confirmed. Cleared for capsule drop. Grab the seat and raise your feet. Let's get the fuel burning and our brains learning. Have a spacious day. We'll see you next time on the Space Mess. Three, two, one. Space Buzz Blast Off. You are now at the Interspace Institute. I hope you enjoyed flying with Space Buzz.